Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Tug Dick Pitch Hitting Baseball. <laughs> I don't... Part of it is this new pave your path mode in the game. That's why we had to talk with the manager and Bochi got mad about our attitude. We're still pinch hitting. We're killing it! Tug Dick is destroying the ball pinch hitting. It looks like He's we'll been so clutch. He's been helping us win left and right. First and two gone in the inning. And the frustrating thing is the guy hitting in his spot is hitting like 200. We're up 4-2 to two on the Cubbies. Runner on first, top of the eighth. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's if there was up. anything I could do to demand that he play more, I would. But they got rid of that option. Yeah, At least like I can't find it anymore. Up and out of the so we got to wait for our man or our agent to come up and talk to us. Come on, let's get two. Go to third, you goddamn asshole. <laughs> And a good job to get to it well, it should have been two, in, but there's a slow runner on him, so... Either way, another single. Off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Top of the eighth. The center fielder. Two outs. Jay, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one for John Jay, another guy on our team hitting like 200-something. And starting. <laughs> the bitterness is real! <laughs> I wonder what Chuck Dick is, Dick is gonna do with all this real time. I think he should maybe start brewing his own homebrew, his own microbrew. He's like, Would you like some dick beer? Drink my dick drink. They'd be like, Ew, no. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's like, It's dicklicious. That just misses inside. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure. I'm all for him right loading the bases. Come on, we want to keep winning. We have a four-game lead, I think, in our division. Our team has been killing it. First month of the year, we start off slow, but since then, we have been rocking. He set and the two-one pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he strikes out. The inning. Giants leave a couple as they can't add to their... Well, hopefully we win. We got a two-run lead. It's time for Tug Dick to go get some Chicago deep dish pizza while the team finishes the game off. Mm, pizza sounds good. It's on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half. And we win again! We have been tearing it up. going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Yeah, we're just going to fly right into the next game. Ross Detweiler earns his fifth winner of the year. And we're going to have a pinch hit. So good, pinch hitting again. Top half of the inning. Notice how him and Bochi are like opposite ends of the dugout. We're up five to three, top of the ninth, no ounce. As a right handers begun to get loose. Hard right up the middle. Another hit. We're going to try and steal some bases. The leadoff man aboard to start the inning. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. John Jay, three for four. He's having a good game, but look, he's hitting 275. And he's got three home runs. Tuck Dick has three home runs, and he's not had more than one at bat in a game in almost, what, two weeks in the game? First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for Yeah, we're going for second one way or the other. What you looking at, son? Well, yeah, maybe we aren't. That was a good pitch out. One. Normally, Tug Dick goes on the second pitch. Apparently, Chicago's been doing its research. A runner at first with no outs here. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. Yeah, why don't you step off? He's back. He said, here comes the 1-1. One, one. Popped up. Trevino. A whole lot of nothing. Nice try, Jay. I wonder if Jay is sympathetic. 
If he's like, man, keep at it, Dick, they'll get you in. Brandon Belt hitting an 0 for 4, unfortunately. He has an under 300 average, too. Now a snap move over to first. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. And another snap throw to the bag. Oh, and he throws it. Fuck it, we're going to go. You cannot and stop the dick. He never should have even tried to. You know, I think he tried to be even quicker with his pickoff throw over the first that time than the move he showed earlier. And when you do that, sometimes your feet and arm aren't in sync and it causes you to throw it away just like that one. Brendan Belt was very stoic about that all. All right. This is our chance to go to the third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a good curveball oh. at the knees. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. Come on, Brandon That's Belt, destroy that ball. Lefty, lefty matchup. Over the plate on the first pitch. No, I don't. Oh, luckily it was a bad pitch. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it skips in as he steals the bag. Yeah, he threw it in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Sometimes it pays just to be aggressive. Like in baseball, not in everything. Not like when you go to the bank, like, I need my money now! <laughs> I'll blow you up if I don't get it. That probably don't work so well. Technics like, do you like money? I like money. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. And they're working the outer half. Here, Full count. That one's wide for ball three. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Has a look. Now the pitch. Chop foul over Ooh. towards the coaching box. Well, you know, Bochi never told us when he put us on the bench how long our disciplinary nice action was going to last. And another foul ball. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. I think Tug Dick has a right to have a little bit of an attitude. And he misses with one here. It's like, four. So that at least I don't know. If you're good at your job and you know what you're doing, away. you're not going to appreciate people bossing you around you when you have a bad day. <laughs> hey, McDonald. So have a Big Mac bro? Alex McDonald. I have no idea who he done. is. I hope they didn't call him up from the minors. <laughs> Runners on the corners, one out, top of the ninth. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Oh, one, here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. It's a beautiful day for baseball. Here it comes on one and one. Afterwards, and they can all, just you know, take a dip over in Lake Michigan. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, if you wanted to hit backwards, you're about you got that going. Not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Oh, we're not going on that one. I wish it was a little more wild. Tug Dick would have loved to. Full count, one out. Here's a high pop up. Tug Dick is tempted to try and go on that, though he knows he, he wouldn't make it as a fuck you. But he's more of a team player than that. Not much more of a team player than that. But still. Hunter Pence, 3 for 4 killing it. Even Hunter Pence is hitting 288. Once again, Tug Dick has the best batting average of anyone with more than 40 at bats on the team. Keep the game close. Here's the pitch. There's a fastball to start him off, but that Honestly, he's got one. the best batting average of anyone with more than 20 at bats on the team. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Stay fair? And nearly no. a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Ready with the one and one. Rounded down the third baseline. Nice hit by Pence. Good RBI single. 
in to score as the runner from third and that'll Tactics like I remember when Hunter Pence used to hit behind me regularly. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game and now they've got that cushion. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. So or whole, or so I have read. Try and close this one out with the right hander. We win again. Exactly We've been tearing it up. The long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Six to four, the outcome today. The Giants get the win despite three errors in the field. Tim well, you know, Tug Dick didn't commit any of the errors because he wasn't even in the field. Hammers down the save. Tug Dick one for one. Hunter Pence four for five. So John Jay three for five. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This must be a four-game series. It might have been. I think it's four. I wasn't paying attention to be honest. Because I think the first game of the series was last episode. I don't remember. Runner on second. We got a four-run lead. Top of the eighth. Tug Dick is at the plate as he watches ball one. Hits are even at seven apiece. It'll be interesting to see if they actually give him anything to hit. I'd be a little surprised considering the fact he's hitting so well and the first base is open. And the sinker Whoa. is over here and that evens things at one. That was actually in the zone. I thought that was going to drop out of it. And here's a pitch. And they beat him. What an asshole way to get the guy. Loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this. Tug Dick's on base percentage since he's become a pinch hitter must be ridiculously high. Took it in the butt. Up next for the Giants. Into the box, John Jay. John Jay. As the first Jay. pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. I don't need to say it. You can see right down there by the average. Mm -hmm. John Jay, two walks. That is one thing Tug Dick doesn't do. He doesn't walk twice in a game. He hardly ever strikes Swing out and he hardly ever walks. Toward the stands behind third. Trevino. Oh, well, that's no play, good. But he ranges hey, Jay. What's up, man? First out. When you're sad, are you a blue he's Jay? <laughs> it's like, don't make fun of my depression. Tug Dick's like, that's not what I meant. Buster Posey, someone who is hitting over 300 on the team. One for four today. That's the man you want to have at the plate. Posey power. Well, more Posey contact hitting, but whatever. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this Go to third. Away. If they're so smart, they'd walk Posey position. here. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning. But instead, he's wild, and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. Five one, our score as we play the eighth. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide... Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a pitch out. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, that's ball four. Because they don't show the other three of an intentional block. Like, why would they pitch out in this situation? I can't believe I forgot that, considering I was just saying they should walk him, and they did. Alex McDonald coming to the plate. He's hitting 258. I'd like to imagine when they show on the big scoreboard the average... That when Tug Dick is on base, he just yells the average out if it's less than his. 258! People are like, why is he yelling? He's yelling to the manager that these guys are hitting worse than him. And there's a sinker that he just spits on. As and Bochy's probably low. like, that's the point! You've got an attitude problem. Tug the Dick is like, 258! He doesn't have much of an option, but to challenge him right here. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Fouled back. He really was struggling. He needed that strike right there. It's been a while since he thrown one. That's just not the way he wanted to start this inning. Bases is loaded. I would love a grand slam. No errors on the giant ledger to the Even floor. a hit, though. We get some more runs. Or at least get Dick home. To two and two oh. now. That's the sad thing. Tug Dick was leading... 
Well, he was in the top ten in a lot of baseball stats before this power struggle on this team. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two. And he fails. Sorry, old McDonald. Go back to the farm. E I E I. Whoa. That was a sad swing. Clearly has him figured out. The right fielder, number eight, Hunter. Standing in now. Come on, Hunter Pence. As he takes You've had an awesome season so far. He's got a hit in three. Hit in 292, one for three for the game. The 0 1 pitch. I uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0 and 2 now. Quickly down, two strikes. Position, jumping ahead. Oh, man, it's going to be ridiculous if we don't get some runs loaded. here. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he, comes and he strikes out. Him, so a great job Team fails and leaves a bunch of guys loaded. stranded. But we still have the lead. Strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Is that being politically correct? Saying business persons instead of businessmen now? Well, come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. And we win again! At least we've got some good things going on. Sometimes when you play Road to the Show mode, you can end up on a shit team. But we've had a lot of success with the Giants. World Series two years ago, playoffs last year. And right now, it's too early to say what's going to happen in October. But we're, we're solidly in the lead. Still a lot of season to go. Though. A hell of a lot of season to go. Tug Dick got hit by a pitch this game. Yep, that was his contribution. Oh, and I think he stole a base. Where the hell's our manager? When's our manager going to call? We need our manager to call and say, Hey, are you mad you're not playing? Can we get you out there? <laughs> Let's look at our standings. We are seven games up on the Diamondbacks. We are just murdering folks. Pirates are games up on the Cardinals. Mets are three games up on the Braves. Uh, Mariners are three games up on the Angels. White Sox, a half a game up on the Tigers. Dang it. <laughs> Rays three and a half over the Reds. Sox. Look at that huge lead we have. We are just destroying people right now. I number one for runs in all of baseball. Buster Posey's had a lot of runs. Pence and Jay have done pretty well too. Tug Dick was on the list, as you know, before the Giants sit on your butt thing. So we'll have a pinch hitter coming up here with the Dick Alicia's first, coming to pinch hit. Hey, he's hanging out with folks. All right, runner on first. We're down two to zero to the Braves. Starting to loosen up. That's not my favorite Brave uniform. And he'll snap one over to first. Runner back standing. Come on, give me something good. Bit hard on the ground oh, that's going to be a double play. Whatever. I don't feel bad at all, to be honest. And the Braves win. All right, let's go right to the next one. Sorry this part of the season is going so fast. I really didn't think Bochi was going to bench, who is arguably his second best player. Pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. We are losing to Atlanta at 9 to 0. Bottom of the fifth. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. He's got that average up over 340 now. You hear that? 340. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. That was a strike? Oh fuck you, Ump. Now here's the pitch. Oh, 
And I bark ah, single. It's a base hit. We're not going to so push that. Kentucky can, can probably steal second. He's hitting over 340, and he's still just the pinch hitter. When they're up high, let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. I don't know. Maybe you agree with Bochi that Tug Dick needed to sit because of his attitude? I don't. I don't say I don't know, but it was like, no, I, don't, I just don't agree with that choice. In now is John Jay. He's running towards second. Pitches a cold strike to throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So they still he doesn't even care that, that we're down by nine runs. I don't give no shit. At least get some a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly. I got nothing to lose. There, Playing yeah. like you're desperate. Don't date like, like you're desperate though. That doesn't work out so well usually. In a different way. They only need a single to the outfield. Getting a few steps off the second. Oh, I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, he did. Not in time as he. That jump was better than I realized at the time. To me, they just can't let guys get lead like that. Especially knowing that the guy behind the he did have a big lead too. His arm. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it to him. Here comes All right, the no outs. There short. we go. Eyeball. Got the first run. We need a major <laughs> rally, as it is. <laughs> no, excuse me. The team's down by nine. Either way, Tug Dick did his job. He got a hit. He stole two bases. He got home. He just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Number 67 enters from the Huffmaster. He's like, I'm high on whippets. So high. And we lose again. For this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around. Yeah, Babe's banged the crap out of us. That sounds nasty. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. Enrique Avalos notches his third win of the year. Matt Kane was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan please act. Whoever you are, you're angry. This Look at Bochi. Excursion and you've been watching a presentation of Well, MLB Tug Dick Network. did a good job. See you next time. We lost 9 to 4. Tug Dick continues to tear it up. That's going to be the end of this episode. Let's go back to the clubhouse in a second though. It's mostly because I just want to go look at his average. We know he's hitting over 300. Over 340, to be honest. There we go. He's hitting 348 right now. And where is our... Where is our, um... Agent? Shouldn't our agent be checking in on us at some point? He's got a 518 slugging percentage. He's having... He's having his best season ever. Patillo, or, Pat yeah, Patillo19 over there says, Tug Dick might be the best player ever. And remember, if somebody says it on Twitter, it means it's true. Five games up on the Diamondbacks. We're doing really good season-wise. Um, next time, we'll finish up our series against Atlanta and then probably play Washington. The team is playing well. Tug Dick is playing well. Things are going really good. I want to get off the bench, though, and do more than pinch hit. That dick is hungry. <laughs> That's a phrase I don't know if I've ever said before. I'll see you all next time, hopefully. Thanks for hanging out.